the magnet. Well, it looks like we need a pack of that. Hmm, where did this screw come from? in the kitchen. But we already looked in there. We'll look better this time. Let's go take a look in there. We looked so many times already. Simkanolik, what do you keep searching for in here? It's not a what, it's a who. Our papoose is missing. We've been looking for him everywhere. Oh, no. He's probably already turned into a screw, because huh? he doesn't have enough energy. Maybe I could help. Surely. Let's start with you picking us up. We're just exhausted from running. In a dangerous situation, a fixie can choose to turn into a screw. But sometimes it happens all by itself. For example, when a fixie doesn't have enough energy. When this happens, the fixie grows weak, gets sluggish, and then goes into hibernation, turning into a screw. This bad luck happens when a fixie doesn't get charged up from being inside of a device. That's why fixies always work inside of machines, so they can stay charged up with energy. Sometimes a fixie that has grown weak and turned into a screw can get lucky. If a human happens to find him and screws him into an appliance, then the fixie will be able to get energized and come back to life. Then he'll unscrew himself and run away, leaving the human wondering, where did that screw go? I know I screwed it in. So, where should we look first? What are you looking for in here, Tom Thomas? Well, um... And what do you have there in your hand? Well, uh, just some screws of mine. Ah, I just found a screw not too long ago. Maybe it's one of yours. Probably. Where is it now? Here, take it, and don't leave them lying around. Should I turn myself around now so your papoose can turn back into himself? He's been lying in there for a week already. He doesn't have the energy to turn back into himself. Then what's next? We have to screw him into some device, you know, so he will get his energy back. Okay. But which one's Papus? All of these screws in here look like Papus. We'll use a magnet. How come? All the screws will just get lifted up together. First of all, not every. Not every kind of metal is attracted by a magnet. It's an easy thing to see for yourself. Just get a magnet. You probably have one in your house on the refrigerator. Try moving it close to different metal objects you have around the house like a spoon or nails or coins. You'll notice that some of the metal objects are pulled very strongly by the magnet, while some of the metals are pulled a bit less. And then there will be some metal things that aren't attracted to the magnet at all. Got it. And the second thing? Well, the second thing. We fixies aren't attracted to that magnet one bit when we turn into screws. Let's give it a try. Here, I found him. And now we'll screw him in. I wonder, are there any other fixies in here? We're not enough for you or something? Not at all, I just wonder. Nothing. Oh, and the screw went away. How about that? He already got charged up and unscrewed himself. Why don't you take a little rest? after such a big adventure. No thanks, I've had plenty of rest. 
Anyway, it's something I've wanted to do for a very long time already. They take care of our machines, irons, phones, and toasters. with you then. <laughs> uh, fire. Maybe you'll get it to work now. When they get here, they'll ring the bell. How come? Why don't they just do what they always do and climb through the keyhole? No way. It's not that simple, Nolik. Today they're our guests. Ah. The guests ring the bell and the hosts let them in the house. Ugh. It doesn't ring. You think the doorbell's broken? I say we go fix it. Before we fix anything, we need to know what went wrong with it. First we'll fix it, and then we'll know what it was. Back in the olden days, people would hang a bell over their doors with a string, and guests would tug on it to make it ring. Today, doorbells are electric, and they make all sorts of different sounds. Some buzz, some ring, and some even chirp like birds. The sound comes from a box inside the house called a chime. To make the chime ring, you push a button that's located outside. The button works just like a light switch, but instead of turning on light, it turns on sound. Verda, will you join me? Whoop. I gotta think about this. Yeah. Simka! You think your guests are gonna come at all? Hmm? Tula? Hey! The doorbell doesn't work! It must be broken! That's odd. We heard it ring this morning. Nolik, let's go! First, we'll examine the contacts. Yep, good and tight. Okay, let's check the speaker. <laughs> huh, the speaker's fine. Maybe the electronics are the problem. And what if we disconnect these wires and switch them? What'll that do? We'll know soon enough. <laughs> you know what? Why don't we connect the wires straight together? Isn't that dangerous? We'll find out. Don't worry, nothing happened yet. Fire. He's the engine of our class. He's the fastest, the nimblest, and the bravest. Fire never sits still for a second, and he's always looking for adventure. New ideas just burn in his head. And that's why his name is Fire. But not all of his ideas are very good, so he's constantly getting bumps and bruises. He just can't help getting carried away. If he's burning with an idea, he can even forget about his classes at school. Grampus punishes him for that. But it doesn't seem to bother Fire, because some new plan will pop into his head the very next second. To be honest, Fire's my favorite out of all the boys in our class. It's sure never boring when he's around. Hey, you down there. I figured out why it's not working. So what's the reason? There's no electricity in the whole house. So that's why the bell isn't working. Uh, 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 uh. And what? We can't visit like real guests do until the electricity comes back? And when will it work again? Don't know. It could possibly take hours, guys. Uh, oh. oh! It's working again! Ah! Enough ringing! Hey, fire! Quit fooling around! He's not fooling around! It's not me, see? Then who's ringing it? Well, I know. 
The doorbell's ringing because fire connected the wires together. True, but I'll fix that right now. Ha! <laughs> Your guests sure are noisy. Yeah, thank goodness the humans aren't home right now. Hello? Hello there, dear guests. Let yourself into our home through the keyhole. So, should we go in? Go where? Go inside. Nah, that's not how guests act. So what do we do? Real guests always ring the bell. Okay, hold me tight. <laughs> the oven. Now here he is, our death-defying acrobat. Nolik, don't! I'm not Nolik, I'm an acrobat. You're going to fall. I'm not going to. Mm-hmm, I see. Every single time with him, it's the same old story. He gets himself into trouble, and I've got to get him out of it. No, no, no! I'm falling! Whoa! <gasps> Hold on! Yeah, I'm just joking. No, like, you're a knucklehead! Zibka! Uh, 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 <laughs> Tula! We're down here! <laughs> Look who's in trouble this time, huh? This isn't funny at all! Need some help? We can manage this ourselves. Right, Tula? Well, all right then. See you later. We gotta get out of here. <gasps> Tom Thomas's mom is coming. Hi! Hi, Tom Thomas. Hi, Nolik. Are you up for a ride? Because this train's leaving the station. Nice place. It's the oven. It's beautiful in here. And not hot at all. Splendid. It isn't hot right now, because it only started warming up. An oven is a cabinet with a heater. It can get so hot inside that it'll roast whatever's in there. As a matter of fact, that's what ovens are for. People roast meat inside of them and bake things, too. Some ovens burn gas for heat, and others use electricity. They have special electric coils that get red hot and heat everything that's inside the oven. So be careful around ovens. A hot oven can burn you very badly. Oh, it really is getting so hot. We gotta get out of this oven right away! Simka, we're about to get roasted in here. Yeah, inside of a fresh-baked fixie cake. I don't want to. You think I do? You'll fall off. Ugh, you're just like Simka. She told me the same thing, and then she was the one who fell. Right into the batter. Together with Tula. <laughs> what? They both fell in the dough? Oh, yeah. And they're probably still stuck in there, too. Tom Thomas, the cake's fresh out of the oven. You want to try some? <gasps> Where could they be, huh? I don't know. Maybe they're inside the cake. They could have turned into screws. We gotta find them. Hey, what are you doing? Eat. Stop playing. Hey, watch out. You could break your teeth. The first ovens in ancient homes were nothing more than simple fire pits where people cooked on hot coals. Later on, the stove was invented. Every house had a stove made out of stone, clay, or cast iron. People would burn wood or coal in them. These stoves produced enough heat to make soup or bake a cake. And then in the 19th century, the gas stove was invented. Gas stoves are much more practical than wood-burning stoves. One second and the gas is burning. A few more minutes and the water's boiling. They're very convenient, but they can also be dangerous because if the pipes aren't in good condition, there can be an explosion. Today, there are also stoves and ovens that run with electricity. They use electric heating elements for frying, boiling, or baking foods without fire at all. Tom 
Thomas, I think you'll explode. Ow. But it's so incredibly good. I just can't stop eating it. Hmm. Keep chewing, Tom Thomas. Mm -hmm. uh, that's as much as I can chew. Hey, what are you guys up to? Hey. Uh, up to? We're trying to save you. You're not in the cake? Then how come I was eating all of this? I hate cake. Hmm. Uh, maybe it's because that's what good friends do. Yeah, he's a good friend who's got a really good appetite. <laughs> <laughs> taking him there. Well, be careful. Don't worry. They won't even notice us. Hmm. Well, if Tom Thomas's parents will be there... Hooray! We can go! Wait a second. I didn't even say yes yet. Yeah. Simka Nolik, where are you? We gotta hurry up. Tom Thomas, it's time to go. I'll be right there. We're ready. Climb into my hood. Ha! Huh. I know who's going to the circus today. Huh? What just happened? I think that the elevator broke down. Don't you worry. Mm -hmm. Emergency operator. <clears throat> um, uh, we got stuck in the elevator. Understood. Please wait. We'll have the elevator fixed within the hour. That long? That means we won't get to the circus on time. Tom Thomas, we'll go get Papus and Masia. I'm sure they can fix it. People need elevators to help them get to the upper floors of tall buildings. When someone steps into an elevator and presses a button, the elevator's electrical engine starts up. It pulls the cable that is attached to the elevator cabin, and the elevator goes to the desired floor. The cable hangs over a wheel, and it usually has a heavy counterbalancing weight attached to the other end of it. This counterweight balances the elevator and helps the electric motor do its job. Hmm, I wonder what the reason is. I think I see something over there that got stuck. Looks like you found the reason. We gotta go and fix it now or we'll never get to the circus on time. You know, we can just have it right here. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the Fixie Spectacular. And now your attention please on the high wire. Our very own aerial gymnasts. of strength. It won't come out. I know how to fix it. With a death-defying circus act, point your eyes up. Marcia, where are you going? Up to the electric motor. Do you know the 
right way to behave yourself inside of an elevator? First of all, small children should never get into an elevator by themselves. They should only go in with their parents or other adults they know well. When getting onto an elevator, the adult should always enter first and then the child. When it's time to get out, it's the other way around. First the child leaves, and then the adult. If you are taking a dog onto an elevator, make sure its tail and leash are completely inside so they don't get stuck in the door. And there's one more thing. If the elevator suddenly stops for some unknown reason, don't try to break out of it yourself. Press the button that calls the emergency operator and wait for help from the elevator repairmen. Or the fixies. I reached the motor! Turn it on! Oh, they fixed it. That was quick. Now we'll make it on time. There was no need to worry. Stop! Ugh. It's way too high! Tom Thomas went to the circus without us. There's no need to get that upset, Nolik. Our circus is as good as theirs. Right, Papus? Of course it is! Thank you! Thank you, uh, to who? What do you mean, who? The elevator repairman. 